Australia. We went to Australia. It was a great time for beasties. They were all over us. Ants, mosquitoes, spiders, stick insects, lizards, horse flies. Even the birds in Australia fly out of the sky at you. You walk under a tree where a magpie's nesting and it dive bombs you. You have to duck out of the way or you end up with a magpie stuck in your head. We went to stay in the bush. We were staying in a little old house. Next door to the house was the outside toilet. And next door to that was another little old house where the children were going to sleep. First night we were there, I said, OK, off you go to the toilet, then off to your little house, and I'll come and tuck you in in a moment. I sat down to read something when I heard this screaming noise from outside. Yeah! Oi! Oi! I rushed out to see what was going on and my kids were standing outside the toilet screaming. There's a spider in the toilet, Dad! I said, I don't believe it. We've travelled all these thousands of miles and the first night we get there, all you can say is, there's a spider in the toilet, Dad. No, Dad! It's horrible! It's going to eat us while we're doing it! OK, I said. I'll go in there and have a look. I looked. Up, down, round, behind. No, no spider in there. It's, it's, it's up on the wall! It's going to drop on us while we're sitting there! I said, I tell you, there is no spider in there at all. I was looking all round. No spider any... And there it was. Up on the wall, a great grey furry thing, all quivery, its little beady eyes staring at me like it was growling. I started backing off. Look, kids, uh, don't worry about it. Just go in there, do what you've got to do and get out again. And they're pushing me back into the toilet. No, get rid of it, Dad! It's going to eat us! So I said, OK, OK, of course I'm not scared. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of it, sure, but... As I got up to it, I thought, how do you get rid of it? Hmm? What do I do? Go up to it and say, hi, uh, yeah, uh, we're just in from England. I'm Mike. These are my children. Uh, can we use your toilet? But it went on looking at me. So I looked round for something to get it with. And I found the toilet brush. Perfect. I know what I'll do. There's a gap between the top of the wall and the roof. I'll flick it through the gap. So I started out towards it, stretching out with the toilet brush. Nothing hurried, nice and easy. Don't want it to jump off the wall at me. Of course I'm not scared. I'm doing it, aren't I? It is me. Hmm? Then I reached with the end of the toilet brush and flick! <laughs> I got rid of it. Over the top of the wall. Brilliant. I got rid of the spider. Yeah. Then I looked down at the brush. There it was, crawling up the handle of the brush towards my hand. Yeah, get off! Get off! Get off! I shook the brush like mad. It's get off! That got rid of it. Whew. I don't want to be bothered like that again. Then my son Joe says, Dad, hmm? Yeah, look at your foot. Why, what's the matter with it? I looked down. It's sitting there on my bare foot. Yeah, get off! Get off! Get off! Whew. That got rid of it. Yeah, of course I wasn't scared. No, of course not. The next night, we were sitting around having tea, and my Eddie, now seven years old, walks in from outside in his bare feet. Dad! Dad! Quick! Over here! There's a scorpion! Over here! Now, you know what scorpions are, don't you? Yeah, they're like little land lobsters with a tail that's a sting that curls right over from the back and wobbles about in front of them. A zing, a zing, a zing. And they've got two big nippers that go slicey, slicey, slicey. And I said, don't be silly, Eddie. They don't have scorpions in Australia. Do you think we would let you walk about in bare feet if we knew there were scorpions here? You could tread on one of those and next thing you know, it stings you and your foot is swelling up like a football. <laughs> Or even worse, you could sit on one of those things and... <sniffs> you'd know about it, believe me. Dad, it's a scorpion. 
come over here and have a look. I said, I don't know what it is, but it's not a scorpion, OK? They're unbelievably dangerous. One foot on one of those and... <sighs> Dad, listen to what I'm saying. It's a scorpion. I said, OK, I'll come and have a look, but it won't be a scorpion, OK? I went over to have a look. Stand back, everybody. Stand back. That is really dangerous. That is a scorpion. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you, Dad. Nobody go anywhere near it. And I looked round for the biggest thing I could find. It turned out to be Richard Scarry's giantest book ever. I lifted up above my head and blam! Right on it. And little bits of scorpion went flying off in all directions. That wasn't very green of me, was it? Probably wrecked the food chain in the area for hundreds of years. Anyway, I swept the bits of scorpion out and I said to Eddie, lucky you didn't tread on that. One foot on it and... And he's nodding at me, not saying anything. Next day he comes up to me and he says, you know that scorpion yesterday? Yep, I did tread on it. You trod on that scorpion yesterday? Why didn't you tell me at the time? And he shrugged his shoulders and said, don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I've never found out why he didn't tell me that he trod on the scorpion. Why couldn't he have said, uh, Dad, I've trod on a scorpion. One day, Joe went to the shower. He came running out of the shower. He was pointing back at the shower without saying anything. I went over and had a look. In the corner of the shower, on the ground, was this thing. It was like a a fat grey snake thing with legs, and when it saw me, it opened its mouth. And it, it was a huge mouth, like a little crocodile, except the mouth inside was bright red, and in the middle of the mouth was a little blue tongue that waggled to and fro like it was saying, don't you come in here, or I'll bite your leg off. And I said, it's OK, it's OK, it's OK, we won't come in here. Relax, the shower is all yours. And when I turned round to leave, I brushed up against the shower curtain and this one foot long stick insect flew into my face. It felt like a flying hand coming for me. Ah, don't worry about them, my Australian friend said when we got back to the city. They're nothing to worry about. What about the horse flies, I said. They're like old Second World War bombers looming up towards you. Hairy bodies, bright green eyes, and a little sharp triangle thing that they stick into your skin. Ah, don't worry about them, they said. Lucky you didn't see a red back. A red back, I said. What's a red back? Oh, it's just a little spider with a red back. And what does it do? Bites you and uh, kills you. <laughs> you don't see many of them around, do you? I said. Oh, yeah, they're everywhere. They love them. Um, Outside toilets and little old houses in the bush, you just brush your hands across one of them and you know about it. A few people die of them every year in Australia, you know. Oh, really, I said, and what about those giant grey furry spiders? They're pretty dangerous too, aren't they? No, nope. totally harmless, mate. You can kiss them goodnight every night. It's the little red back you want to watch out for. I felt all kind of weak. Our little old house and our outside toilet out there in the bush, well, they were probably teeming with redbacks. They were probably in the bed, and nobody told us. We could all have been bitten to death by hundreds of raving redbacks, all seven of us, wiped out just like that, and we never knew. <laughs>